Okay, what we're doing here today is scribing a truss together. So what I've done is I've laid it all out on the concrete, which is pretty flat. I have two different trusses I'm making here, so R7 and R9 on this side, and R8 and 10 on this side. The collar will go in the middle, and the king post going up. I've already drawn my angles where my collar will meet my rafter. I have my uh, depth set, how much the collar will go into the rafter. And uh, we'll go set them up now. Okay, so what we've done here is we've laid out the truss on the concrete pad, all the joinery, we've taken into account the different sizes of the material. So. You can see I have, my, uh, this is the top line of the rafter, this represents the bottom line, which is 12 inches away. This is a 2 inch bearing line for inside the collar, and then this is uh, the joinery where it's going to scribe in. So this whole process is called lofting. All the lines are laid out on the floor, and then the lines are are uh, chased up with levels or some sort of way of getting a plumb line for each reference line on the floor. As you can see they all line up. Anyways I'll show you how we go about doing that. Okay so as you can see I have my squares all set up clamped to some steel. The whole idea of that is to hold them plumb. Whenever you're projecting something, this is the key. It's got to be perfectly plumb. And then you look along each from square to square until it disappears. Okay. Comfortable and don't move your head. Pencil line and the edges of the square should all disappear at the same time. Okay, that's one. Make sure your square is set up square to your line. When you have lines from other trusses, 
make sure you go to the right line. Okay, so if you think of this as a diminishing haunch, the bottom cord is going to go into the rafter. This is going to be a bearing inside the collar. Okay? So this would be like a fork tenon. This is the haunch going into the rafter, which is at a bisected angle. There you have it. That simple. Whew. Okay, so I got out my crayons so I, I could uh, be a little less confusing. Black line, blue line, two different cuts. Okay, so now we're going to set up the uh, king post for the same truss. This will fit into the last collar we just scribed. And, uh, just got to use the same lines that we used for, uh, for the other collar. Up here what I've done is I've drawn a diminishing haunch. Scratched it on the floor. And uh, there's a couple lines there because we've laid out a couple different sets of trusses. But uh, as long as you pick the right line, you're good to go. Okay, so here's a finished collar. And there's the, uh, the finished joint. That'll haunch into the rafter. Right like that. Okay, here's where the collar will fit into the rafter. The blue represents the, the fork of the collar itself. All the black's coming right out. And uh, then we'll notch down for the blue. Start it over there. <laughs> 